Sagittarius, hello. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We've got a lot of emotional release going on in the collective. So let's see what comes through for you this week, Sagittarius. We're going to start your reading off with the Shamanic Healing Oracle. And we're going to just get right into it. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Check with your moon sign, your rising, your Venus. Check with any of the other zodiac that may stand out to you. Uh, for a well-rounded uh, idea of what you may be working with or dealing with at this time. So let's just get right into it for you. What message do we have for Sagittarius? been doing a lot of energy clearing in the last week, week and a half um, for myself, for the collective. It's been a ride, <laughs> um, but it's, it's a beautiful part. It's a beautiful journey to be able to uh, clear out some of the clutter, to clear out some of the old pain and old gunk and come to a much more liberated and um, joyful part of the journey. Sure, we don't like the waves of pain and, and suffering that come up, but when we're able to like move, push past them, push through them to get to the other side, it is just liberating in itself. So what we have for you, Sagittarius, is changes. Definitely going through some changes. We are all going through some upgrades, some energetic shifts, and great massive changes at this time. Pluto squaring the North Node in Aries is really pushing us forward uh, to our true self, our true North. And uh, the South Node in Libra, you know, we're learning a lot about our, like, through our relationships. We're learning about ourselves through relationships. We're learning about our patterns. Uh, it's a beautiful, um, bittersweet <laughs> for some, but when you get to the other side, you're just like, wow, you can't make it up. <laughs> so let's read this from the book for you. Like ripples from the smallest drop of water in a pond, the smallest of changes in one's life can bring about the greatest rewards. Think about changes you can make in your life. These do not have to be grand sweeping changes. Judicious small changes can add up to life changes over time. Think about small changes you can make now that will add to your quality of life. Clean out the clutter. Commit to walking every night after dinner. Cut out processed foods from your life. Alternately, big changes are coming your way. Well, I, I would say it's a little bit of both, Sag. Definitely for me, and even like not fully consciously, I've noticed great shifts of positive change I've made for myself with my physical health and mental and emotional health, just overall well-being. And boy, does it feel good to really um, allow a lot of toxicity and just junk fall to the wayside and realize I, what I thought may have been you know, a, a crutch or a helpful was actually quite the hindrance. So let's just keep going for you, Sag. See what else comes through. You may even be making changes within relationships. Changes within your, you know, what you consume. What you eat, what you drink, what you consume as far as what you're reading, what you're listening to. Maybe you are taking more time to yourself to go out into nature and to, uh, funny that discipline just kind of snuck on out. We're going to take that. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And maybe, you know, giving yourself, being a little more disciplined in um, these changes. Maybe it's exercise or the way that you eat, the foods that you eat. 
the thoughts that you attach to and believe, the way that you process emotion or run and hide from emotion, you know, it's different for everybody, but being more dedicated and disciplined to um, really uh, accomplish whatever it is that you're, you, these changes that you desire to make in your life. And it doesn't have to be like jumping all in, just, you know, one step at a time, one day at a time. Don't be hard on yourself. You know, if you do fall back into an old way, understand that you did and, you know, we're human. Jump right back into it, you know. I love that death came out because you know what? This message came up to me so many times and I still hadn't been able to share it. I did a video earlier on the, ener and the energy update and I did share, it's a very small one. But death, this says, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. The death card in the tarot or just death in general, this is how it's been brought to me because it is, um, there's this saying about the, the ego death or the dark night of the soul it's not that our ego dies, but there are aspects of that were developed by the ego that slowly start to die off. It is like a part of the self is no longer engaged or attached to ourselves. And this is the part of ourselves that um, was really a, a block and a cha it caused a lot of obstacles and challenges for ourselves. Um, a, a death to certain beliefs, a death to certain ways of thinking, certain ways of behaving. Um, this could be the, the death of a relationship for some, the, the death of a, a job or just a way of living because there's a whole new, or it's not even new, it is the true essence of self within the deep seated within the soul that is starting to not only blossom, but really like flourish through the muck and yuck that of parts of the ego that were developed, you know, over some of our darker times for survival. And we needed those aspects at one time, or we thought <laughs> to survive a lot of crap. I'm just going to be really blunt here. We have loneliness and relationships. Okay, so we are diving into the relationship sector. Okay, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Loneliness, I know that I am never alone. So, <sighs> Sagittarius, this has a lot to do with your patterns. Um, your This could be codependency, your relationship patterns. There is a death, there is an ending that is coming to... Uh, certain aspects of yourself that were not serving you at all, certain e egoic aspects of yourself that were designed to be a protector um, when you're engaging in relationships with others. It is almost like portraying, you know, the best aspects of what you thought were the best aspects of yourself and um, not really revealing all of you. You may have been, even been unconscious to it. It had been going on for so long. Um, but it really had you feeling lonely in relationships. This has come up so much for so many of us. Lonely in relationships because you were not allowing all of your truth, all of your authenticity to be engaged within these relationships. And so it felt like, it feels like when you're when we're doing that when we're playing a facade or a part um it feels like people don't really know you and then you get really upset like i i thought you knew me but you don't of course they don't because you're not actually showing them those aspects maybe you're not weren't even uh, um used to them yourself until they come up and then when you're trying to present them they were like pushed away relationships i am attracted to those Who's those people who serve my highest, higher good? 
So I think that there are certain people in your life, Sagittarius, that are starting to kind of go off on their path or fall to the wayside because your path is, is changing direction and their path is either they're staying the same or they're going somewhere else. And that is good because stay true to you. Stay true to your authentic, true you. And don't play that facade to stay in relationship with others that you weren't really fully connecting with anyway because if you show all of you and it's rejected or it's judged judgment was below that then that just shows you that these people like they were meant to be in your life for that point in time but they're no longer meant to be a, a part of you you cannot fully connect because you cannot sh fully be all of you it's it's almost like it's rejected or you know so you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm certainly, I'm sure that those of you who are uh, resonating understand exactly where this is going. So this definitely has to do with relationships. Discipline. I'm no longer going to fall into those people-pleasing, codependent patterns that I once had. And even to like, go deeper and understand where those developed in the first place, that's all well and good, but you still have the patterns, right? Um and universe, these people actually will test those patterns to see are, are they are you still enacting within this this certain pattern? Like say there's somebody that like you don't like talking on the phone, and but there's like a certain person that just like will talk your ear off for like four hours, and you just stay on the phone with them while they're doing that. Like you're washing dishes, you probably take a shower, all of those things, and it's like why am I doing this? Why can't I not say, I don't, uh, like, I have to go? What is it in me that that feel, like it gets hooked and gets pulled into somebody else's energy so much that I am no longer um, honoring my own time and energy? You get entangled with others. That's what you're being disciplined in. That's what's coming to an end because it, that is what is the source of your loneliness right there. Okay, wow, big message. <laughs> Big message. Okay, these changes are happening. And yes, you know, we are energetically sensitive. We are we empath each other. We feel each other's everything. And so it is hard to um there are it is hard. It's a hard pattern to break, but it is an important pattern to break, especially the more and more you engage and you see how depleted your energy becomes or how you start to really pick up on their problems, their, you know, patterns, all of that. It's like no more, no more, no more Sagittarius. <laughs> you can still love them from afar, from your own space. And if they truly love and honor you, they're going to have to love and honor all of you, all of your time and your energy. Memories of love. This is just reiterating exactly what I just said. Because we do have love for each other, for people. But then they dial up the heat. Like, so maybe it's not that you have to end the relationship, but you're ending a relationship pattern and you're putting very strict discipline on there. Doing it with love, not with blame or anger or judgment towards the other, because this is all about you, Sagittarius, and it's trying to free and liberate you to be your true self. Speak your truth. Be all of yourself authentically. At all times. We will be tested over and over on these things. Hey, I got it too. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And there's a nice way to balance between, you know, completely shutting someone out and completely enmeshing your energy with theirs. Just be honest. Be real and be truthful and be honest. That's all that's required. Death to those old patterns. You go back to childhood. I know mine does. And I have a specific person in my life that mimics the same energy as my dad. And my dad used to keep me, you know, it pulls on your heartstrings. And so you do things that you just normally wouldn't do. You, you, you're not doing yourself any justice. And you know it. 
you know it. Because you're not letting anybody, you're not letting these people know the true you. It's okay to speak up for your, stand up for yourself and speak up with love, but with vindiction too. And if you're not heard, that's, that's on them. That's on them. Speak your truth. Mm -hmm. That's all coming together now. You've been very patient through this process and you really are starting to see the truth and things are actually starting to make sense now um, as this change is happening for you and it is becoming very successful and victorious. This death, there's a whole new beginning uh, in your way of relating to others and it's going to be true and real and there's no going back no going back but you also realize that um this is a lesson for you and to, to not judge or blame uh, another person for whatever whatever energy exchange you did ha you have engaged in and that you maybe had given your energy away. A whole new seed has been planted. It's almost like you're about to give birth to the whole brand new version of you, Sagittarius, so that you are not going to be alone. People are going to know you in and out. You will be very transparent because that is your discipline to be transparent. So that's energetically, energetically transparent so that you don't have to explain yourself to those that you want to connect with. They just know. And this has everything to do with your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your self-worth. Know thyself. Big lesson from spirit. I can relate. I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I relate to pretty much every reading I do. I guess that's why I, I um, am a reader to begin with. I've had certainly have had a lot of different uh, life experiences in my lifetime very well-rounded in the experiences of life, let's just say. And my leg is beginning to fall asleep. Okay. I may have to stand. Sorry. Having some spinal issues here. So, bear with me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the video that I shot earlier has to do with stuck energy in the body. And I have definitely been working through the stuck energy in my body. Um, plus, this seat is not very comfortable. And um, I sit on the edge of it and it kind of cuts off my some of my major nerves there while I put to sleep. So I'm working on getting a new stool for myself. <laughs> The Hanged Man and the Five of Swords. Yeah, you really had time to turn this around and have a new perspective on um, yourself, um, what you've given away, what has been considered unfair, unjust when it comes to a relationship or your relationships with others. And now you're seeing things from another perspective, another angle. You're actually picking up what I'm putting down. You you have already realized this. This death is in process. These changes are happening. They're happening now. And that is beautiful. Sagittarius, I mean, Jupiter ruled. You, you are very expansive um, and can really expand your mind very quickly. Ten of Cups. There you go. The true beauty and true love of what it is that you value in relating to others, relating to yourself, loving yourself. Loving yourself. Loving the journey. 
it's almost like I don't see any bitterness or anger here at all, Sagittarius. You're like, mm-hmm, touche, universe. I get it. And I'm happy to make these changes. I really don't see any, um, not so far. I don't even feel any, um, any of it. Maybe you have in the past. I mean, we usually go through those those darker aspects um, quite a few times before we, you know, you got to get kicked down a few times before you're like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it, universe. I see what you're, um, I see what you're trying to show me in the cosmic mirror now. And I, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. So let's talk about fertility for Sagittarius. <laughs> Oh my, Ace of Cups, this is what you're brewing, this is what's coming, this is complete and utter fulfillment, love of life, love of self, love of the journey, beautiful, the world, completion, you completed such a long and lonely cycle for yourself. You probably have a lot of good friends in your life, but not many of them know you truly. But they, now you're starting to bring in more and more. Look at all that cosmic influence there, that beauty. There's usually only one or two key people that really mimic our childhood wounds that we have to, and patterns that we have to work out. So, um... I feel like you, you're getting such a well-balanced and well-rounded understanding as to what the universe has brought you through, where your lessons have been, what it is that you need to release, let go of, and it's just like you've surrendered. I'm done playing this game. Let's, let's bring on the true beauty. I have a lot of love to give and a lot of love to receive, and I am open to it. No more five of cups. That was in reverse when I picked it up. No more feeling um, alone and left out and like nobody cares. Everything, you know, <laughs> you probably have had a lot of people take from you. Take your energy, take your compassion, take your, take, take, take. And because you allow this entanglement, it, and, and it will be linked to, um, you know, way back, way back. These are ancestral patterns we're breaking as well. Sagittarius, we're going to get right into your advice here because this seems like it's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> so we're going to pull from the Oracle of the Seven Energies for you. And if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I'm open for readings again. You can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. That information is in the description box below this video. All right, let's get your advice, Sagittarius. I like this reading. Um... Uh, so far, I've only done three today, but um, they are much more uplifted than they have been in the last two weeks. Let it go. <laughs> and that is exactly what you are doing. Beautiful. Let's pull the stool back for this one. Yeah, you may have had some spite. You may have had some resentment back in the day, but now it's just like, pff, I get it. This is all me. There are times in life when you must forgive, lest you become a hostage to your anger, frustration, disappointments, and resentments. This is not about condoning bad behavior or minimizing a hurt done to you. Forgiveness is simply a commitment to stop telling an old story so you don't carry its burden anymore. If you don't forgive, old hurts fester and become distorted, causing you pain over and over again. You, get, you become trapped in a prison of your own making, tied to the story that you're a victim. It's time to cut the invisible cords uh, attaching you to the situation and preventing you from moving forward. <laughs> I just got giddy for all, this, all of a sudden. The truth is you're victimizing yourself every time you recreate the unresolved hurt in your mind or speak of it with friends. Rather than allow this folly to repeat, surrender the situation to your higher power. 
Now is the time for radical forgiveness. Say no to drama in all forms and forgive yourself and others for engaging in it. Consider the ancient Hawaiian practice known as Ho'oponopono. Pano. This simple prayer is a beautiful way to begin the process of forgiveness. I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you, I love you. It's based on the idea that we are all responsible for the reality we see in the world. If something is awry, whether it's your perception, your emotional reactions, your judgment, and so forth, it's up to you to clean it up. Forgiveness is the key to a liberated and meaningful life. No matter what method you choose, just do it. Let get, let it go, let it go. You are going through such a beautiful change, Sagittarius, and I am so happy to give you any of these messages. I feel like you already are aware of this. This is confirmation for you. So I am sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.